Hello and welcome to our messy church for this week. It's good to be back Come again. Come on, Roxy. Oh, Roxy, you've taken over. all the room up. Oh, there we are. Hello, Hi. everyone. How are you? How are you, Anne? I'm fine. It's good, good to be back. It's good to be here to do something today. And um, I thought I'd wear something that might tell us what we were going to talk about I today. I was just going to say about that because normally Anne always comments on my messy church t-shirt. But today, look at Anne's scarf. I wonder if that gives you any indication as to what we're talking about. We're talking about remembrance, yep. aren't we? Okay, yes. And, and how we celebrate remembrance and why we celebrate remembrance. Yeah, it's very difficult, isn't it? And remembrance is something that we mark every year and it's very important that we do, of course. We're remembering those who have fought in wars and are, of course, still fighting. Sadly, there yeah. are still places throughout the world where soldiers are on active duty. And, yeah. and many of you may know somebody who's in either the RAF or the Army or the Navy Maybe somebody in your family that has been involved in a war. Or maybe you have a grandparent or a great-grandparent or even a great-great-grandparent mm. who died in one of the big wars. And, you know, it is important, Anne, because although I think what we really want is peace, isn't it? We do. That's what we really want. I mean, we all want peace, and peace would be wonderful. It would be absolutely brilliant if everybody could live together in peace. But sometimes wars are necessary. Um, oppressive regimes, people who are doing things very wrong, sometimes the only thing you can do is to fight against it. And, um, yeah. and I think therefore every year we still remember those who have fought in wars, those who lost their lives, so that we could be here today doing what yep. we do. And our craft today, we're going to uh, make some poppies, aren't we? We are, yes, yes. Anne's got some very beautiful poppies, she tells me. They're very yes. neat poppies, very they are. tidy poppies. And very I've easy I've got poppies. some craft to do as well. I haven't actually told Anne what it is I plan to do yet, but it's quite worrying, it is really. poppies, I promise you, it's poppies. So, so we'll see. So shall we do that first then? Let's do our, our craft. craft then. Okay. And so we're going to make some poppies like this one here and we're going to start by drawing some circles. I've got some nice red paper. I'm going to draw some circles on here. It's very simple. Okay, so we just draw around something. Nice size for a poppy. This is a, a lid of um, oh, a spice container. But here we are. So just draw around however many poppies you want to make. And then just cut them out. Now you can take a bit more time than I can with this, so we just cut them out. It's very straightforward, this very simple, nice and nice and neat around the edges, and you'll end up with a circle. Let's move that to one side. And then what we need to do is we need to fold. So we fold it in half, so you get a semicircle, and then open it up and fold it again. This way, and do it again. And so just keep folding them, and folding them, and folding them, and folding them. There we go. And what you'll end up with in the end, hopefully, is some lots of little folds. And then try and concertina it up together. There we are. So each one goes, one goes in, and one goes out, and one goes in, and one goes out. There we are. And then we just want to draw some stems, any old stems will do, in the middle of this, there we are, there we are, some nice stems, want to find a nice black sharpie, I forgot to look for a black one earlier, there we are, I think that's black, oh it's brown, what we want to do is draw in the centre, the big centre of the poppy, there we are, and then all we do is get some glue, and glue on the back, and there is our first poppy. There we are. And you can do as many as you like. I've cut some more. And so, how do you want to make some of these? Just make a nice poppy and... Um, I don't want to, no, because they're not messy. Well, they're nice. They're nice poppies. They're, they're beautiful. Nice. But I'll tell you what, you make some of those and I'm going to make some really messy poppies. Is that all right? Well, if you want to make a mess, but I'm <laughs> nice and neat and tidy. Right, well, look what I've got to make some poppies. I've got some potatoes. Well, they're no good for poppies. Trust me, they are. I don't know whether you can see, I've cut the middle out of that one there, and that's going to make my 
black bit in the middle. I'm going to print that with some really messy paint in a minute. And one of the other potatoes is going to make a leaf shape, a petal shape. So there we go. So I'm going to just cut a potato first of all. I'm going to bring this one back over here. Now, be careful. You don't need a sharp knife. You really don't. You just need something. In fact, a sharp knife, I found, um, didn't give you such a round um, edge. It went a little bit too pointy. So it's actually better if you just put a, 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 a cook, uh, an eating knife, the sort that you eat your, your food with, cut that in. And then you're going to cut in around the outside, not right to the centre, because you want that centre bit left there. And there you are. And then you lift that up. Ta-da! Look, Anne, you've got potato print. Okay. That, there we are. But you're lucky because I've made a set for you as well. You're going to get a bit messy now. Oh, no, not messy. Yeah, messy. But I'm neat and tidy and no, clean. Look, look. Oh. I've got ah! red paints. And guess what other colour I've got? Black. I've got black paint. Don't need quite so much black paint. So there we go. I'm going to make some messy poppies and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to make um, the leaves around the outside so I'm going to press that in there like that. Shall I do shall it I where, do, um, where the blast is? That That's here. lovely. I might need to rub a little bit of that off and then I'm going to do one, two, three. Okay. And then you see you get your Middle one there, see, she wants to play with my uh, potato prints now, don't you? I'm going to get the black one there. Well, I might need a bit more paint than that, and I'm going to put that one in there. So there. we do. What do you think? Whoop, two, three. Excellent. Shall I do a black blob in the middle? We'll do a black blob in the middle. And should we do one, one further one? Should yes. we do one oh, slightly? Oh, look, that black blob was quite more. so tidy. Go one. on. Press harder. Two. Oh, Make okay. more mess. Excellent. There we go. Oh. Oh wow. And we might have to do another one there now. Oh Come no. On. Get, oh, here we go. One down Let's the bottom. Let's do one down the bottom because I've just put a black. Two. Three. Brilliant. There you are. And so do you want to join all those together with your green I'm just going to do pen and things? So and then we, we can just do a stem here. So do you see how easy that was? Just an old tray and some potatoes and you can make some wonderful flower prints there. There we are. And that looks amazing. Now, you did one earlier, didn't you? Yes. What did you write on there? And I put, we will remember them because Excellent. we're talking about remembrance today. So we've got, if your mums and dads and those people that look after you don't want you to make a mess, you could do some of Anne's really tidy, clean poppies. Clean. And actually they're really nice to go on windows and things, aren't they? But if, you, if you've got red and black paint and some old potatoes, you can print some amazing potatoes. And you know what I was thinking, Anne? I wish I had big potatoes. Because you could have done a massive poppy you could with have a done. big potato. Or you could use a squash, a butternut squash, or even a piece of pumpkin or something. Absolutely. Try your vegetables at home. Yes. But do ask your mum and dad's first. <laughs> Make some amazing big poppies and have some fun and get some red paint where you shouldn't. So Anne, I've just brought the poppies that you made with us and on the word on the front if you remember it said we will remember them and those are the words that we say every year on the 11th of november and sometimes we do it on the nearest sunday to the 11th of november as well because that's the important day that we do remember them and we will remember them again this year but obviously this is messy church so i was wondering does the bible tell us anything about remembrance or about peace or war it does tell us a lot actually it does say a lot about wanting peace and about how we get peace and there's a prophet in the old testament called micah and he talks about the word of god going out from jerusalem so where jesus was born and it says that god will judge between many peoples and will settle disputes 
among strong nations because there was lots of wars there in the Old wars, Testament. There was absolutely lots, lots of people wars. fighting. Yes. So I suppose he was used to wars and fighting. He was, but what he wanted really was for people to live in peace. And Micah goes on to say that God tells him that they will turn uh, the spears and swords that they use for fighting, they will turn them into um, plows and gardening tools and there will be peace among the nations. I think that's a lovely, lovely idea, isn't it? There'll be peace among the nations. It is, isn't it? It is. Because turning those, uh, those um, weapons into things that can really help each other and grow yeah. new life. Absolutely. So that's, that's lovely, isn't so it? So rather than putting all the effort and all the money into making weapons to destroy, you put, put them into things that will grow things and create new life. Yeah, so much better. I think we've got a song about that, haven't we? We have, yes. We were going to sing a song. But just, I was just going to say, what was the prophet's name? Micah. Micah, that's it. Now, Micah's in the Old Testament. It is so in the Old Testament. If you did want to have a flick through your Bible, have a look for Micah. It's an interesting name, isn't it? It is a very interesting name. Yeah. And the book is just before the New Testament, so it's a bit ah. easier to find. You don't have to flick through many pages. And just remember, the New Testament is much smaller than oh, the Old Testament. Absolutely, yes. Right. So this song then, now, this song, we're going to sing about peace, yep. aren't we? And we're going to sing about hope. Hope, well, because in the end, actually, what we are hoping for is a better world. So we hope that we're going to have peace and things will be better and especially at this time when things are so uncertain they I are, think that's a really they? good thing to hang on to so we're going to sing about peace and we're going to sing about hope and it's called let there be peace shared among us yeah so you're ready we like this bit don't yeah. we let there be peace shared among us let there be peace in our eyes may now your peace sweep this nation Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding of sisterly love that is real. Let there be peace shared among us. Let there be peace. Now we're going to sing the same, aren't we, with hope? Hope, yep. Let there be hope shared among us. Let there be hope in our eyes. May now your hope sweep the nation. Cause us, O oh Lord, to arise. Give us a fresh understanding of brotherly love that is real. Let there be hope shared among us. Let there be hope. And you know, when we put our hands together, mm. that's often about hope, isn't yeah, it? When we pray, we pray because we hope that God will answer yeah. our prayers and we pray for hope. Absolutely. And you know, there's other verses, isn't there? There's one about love and there's also one about joy. So even though we're remembering difficult things and often quite serious things, you know, love, peace, hope and joy, joy. they're all words about how great the future can be, yeah. especially you know, if we centre our lives and we try and do what Jesus asks absolutely. us Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, great things to remember. So we need to write some prayers for we our do. prayer tree. Great. Do you want to pass my prayer tree up? Yep. It's looking quite full at the moment. There we go. Yep. Can you see it? It's I'll just bring it up a little okay. bit. There we are. I've got some more this gonna week. Write. And we thought about what we'd want to pray for this week and we decided that we would pray for the soldiers who have died or have fought in previous wars, but also for soldiers who are still serving their countries now. So, for, I mean, they're all military. Military personnel, how's yeah, that? Yeah, that's very posh. Military personnel. Can't spell it. That's fine. They won't see your spelling, I will. I can laugh at it afterwards. It does say military personnel. I think she spelt it right. Past and present. Lovely. Shall I hang that on the tree? Because yeah. the other one we decided, well, we decided on peace, but could we put peace and hope? Because I think those were really lovely words. I'm going to hang this one on our tree there. Gosh, our tree's getting lovely and full. Yeah, well, we did say we were going to use it we all did. the way through, yeah. so it's looking good. And next week, well, I think we'll probably be back at your house right, in a fortnight's time, and then we can put more on your tree, can't we? I've been using my tree, ah, so I've actually been putting some on there as well. Good. There we are. So there we go. I'm just going to move that just a little bit forward because I've got... A and so let us pray. 
So Anne, I've brought this prayer that has some actions to it. Mm -hmm. Are you going to I'm all right for the do actions. some actions and I will read the prayer. So let us pray together and just listen to the words and just watch what Anne's doing. Lead me, O Lord, from death to life, from falsehood to truth. Lead me, O Lord, from despair to hope. Lead me from fear to trust. Lead me from hate to love. Lead me from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts. Let peace fill our world. Let peace fill our universe. <laughs> it's meant to be a dove. It is a dove. It's a beautiful dove that's getting bigger. And shall we say a nice big Amen. Amen. So we will remember them. We will. And we will see you in a couple of weeks' time. Well, actually, we're going to start looking at saying thank you and yeah. Thanksgiving, yeah. aren't we? Yep. Absolutely. But we're not looking at turkeys and pumpkin pies. Mm -hmm. We're not doing the American Thanksgiving. We're going to talk about other types we're, of Thanksgiving. Yeah. All sorts of Thanksgiving. But based on it. Yeah. yeah. We'll have some fun I'm saying sure we thank will. you and being grateful. Yep. Absolutely. So we'll see you in two weeks. We'll do. Bye-bye.